Zambia's transportation sector continues to suffer setbacks owing to high cost of doing business as a result of the high cost of fuel. Recently, a 25 ngwe reduction was effected, a move that has been termed a mockery by stakeholders in the sector. If there was a reduction, was there? If there was, uh, I, I haven't noticed any reduction. Um, I was stopping up this morning. Uh, 50 quarters to give me five liters. Bus and Taxi Owners Association of Zambia, John Banda, says the purported fuel reduction is too minimal to attract an impact on the sector. It's too minimal. Mm -hmm. We kind of think of reducing the fares as because they, they reduce the price of fuel by 25 million. It doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. It will continue at that time. Mm -hmm. Mr. Banda wonders why the country has continued recording high prices of fuel when fuel on the international market has remained low. The value? That indicates that they've actually come down from way above 100 or so. Now they have been reduced to about 70, 75, somewhere in that range. And so we should actually feel this effect shooting down to us as business people. You see. But if, if they are saying they are reducing and, and, and on the international market where they feel this, but here we don't feel the effect, then the whole, the whole thing doesn't make sense. He narrates that the cost of doing business in the country has been extremely high owing to a number of factors, hence the need for the relevant authorities to consider creating a conducive working environment. A lot of other costs involved in running uh, the transport sector, not only fuel, but there are a lot of things, things to do with ZRA, the tax, the presumptive tax, and a lot of other. So you find that especially those who are operating small buses, they are barely surviving, they are barely surviving. Zambia's transportation cost has remained high for some time now, and people look forward to the time when government will be able to reduce the cost of doing business. Cecilia Kaya, Movie TV Business News, Lusaka.